Hashes are used in a wide range of applications, such as password storage, digital signatures, data integrity verification, indexing, and searching. Hash functions are the backbone of the proof-of-work consensus mechanism used in blockchain technology. What is cryptographic hash? It's like a secret language that only computers can understand. A cryptographic hash is like a special program that turns any message you give it into a secret code of a fixed size string of characters. You can think of cryptographic hash as making a cake you put in different ingredients like sugar, flour, and eggs and it will always come out as a cake. But if you change one ingredient, like using chocolate in, instead of vanilla, the cake will be different this time. A hash function can be used to map data of random size to fixed size values. Basically, it is as a mathematical algorithm for converting an input, such as a message, into a fixed-length string of characters referred to as the hash or digest. The resulting hash is unique to the input data. Any change in the input data, no matter how small, will result in a very different hash value. This is known as the avalanche effect and it's one of the important features of hash functions. The process of applying a hash function to an input is called hashing. The exact details of these mathematical operations depend on the specific hash function being used. Let's design a simple hash function. Our hash function will take a string as input, iterate over each character in the string, and adds all the ASCII values of the characters in the string. Once we add all ASCII values, we end up with the sum of numbers which will be our hash value for our string. As you can see using our hash function, the hash value for coding is 596. This is a very simple example of a hash function, and it's not suitable for security-sensitive applications or any practical applications, but it is a good example of understanding how a hash function works. There is a problem with the hash function we discussed that it is not collision-resistant. Collision means the same hash value is generated for two different input messages. For example, based on our hash function which is simply adding ASCII values of each character in the string can easily have a collision as we can see here that two strings ABC and CBA would produce the same hash value of 294. The previous example illustrates the importance of collision resistance in the hash function. Several other characteristics must be present for the hash function to be considered secure or safe for practical use. These include, deterministic, means the same input will always produce the same output. Unique, generate unique hash values for each individual input. One way, meaning it is computationally infeasible to recreate the original input from the resulting hash. Fixed size output, the output of a hash function is fixed in size, regardless of the size of the input. Fast, hash functions are designed to be fast and efficient in calculating, making them suitable for use in time-sensitive applications. And finally, collision resistant, hash functions are designed to be collision resistant, which means that it's nearly impossible to find two inputs that produce the same hash value. Many different hash algorithms have been developed over the years, but some of the most famous and widely used ones include MD5. MD5 is a widely used hash function that produces a 128-bit digest. However, it has been found to be vulnerable to collision attacks and is no longer considered a secure hash function. SHA-1, SHA-1 is a widely used hash function that produces a 160-bit digest. Like MD5, SHA-1 is also considered vulnerable to collision attacks and is no longer considered a secure hash function. SHA-2, developed in 2001, SHA-2 is a family of hash functions that includes several variants, including SHA-224, SHA-256, SHA-384, and SHA-512. These functions produce digests of varying lengths and are considered more secure than MD5 and SHA1. SHA3 and Blake2 are other hash algorithms used today. It's also important to note that real-world hash functions use much more complex algorithms and mathematical operations such as logical functions and operation, or, not, and XOR operation, along with mathematical algorithms like bit rotation to produce a hash value and use widely accepted standards and techniques that have been extensively analyzed and tested for security. Let's look at an example of a hash function in action. Here is a Python script that starts with importing the hashlib library, which provides various cryptographic hash functions. It then takes input for the text message and creates a new SHA-256 hash object. The script then updates the hash object with the bytes of the message and gets the hexadecimal representation of the hash. 
The script then prints the input message and its corresponding hash. Here is the output for two messages computing encoding and computing encoding number one. As you can see, even a small change in the input message results in a vastly different hash value. This is one of the important features of hash functions. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has helped you to understand how hash functions work. Subscribe to the channel for new videos and updates.